been a wee while since I've done one of these. And I think part of the reason I'm only recording these things is because, as I've said in a few other videos, it's like the feeling of next to absolute loneliness. <laughs> Coming up on almost two months now, where I've basically spoken to next to nobody. But... After my initial total fucking online meltdown, so to speak, <laughs> I had two choices. First of which was to continue doing what I was doing, justify it to myself, any sort of car crash uh, <laughs> scenarios that I created the night before wake up in the morning and justify it to myself, drink again and justify it to myself, ah oh, well, life shit, you made a fool of yourself, might as well drink, blah, blah, blah. But in recent weeks, um, I'm pretty good actually, did have quite a lot of alcohol last Saturday, probably too much. Um. But prior to that, I was doing well. And all this week, I've been doing well. Week before that, I was doing no bad either, actually. You know? But it's just... I've come to hate weekends now. Especially. But... I've... Definitely made some improvements. I even got a... I got a sick note off the doctor. Get this, I mean, I'm, I was 13 and a half stone um, in the build up to the end of September. And I'm 11. I've lost fucking over two stone, man. And it wasn't because I was mad on it, like gay yeah, with the pure drugs and that. Just now, he said, no, somebody called me a speed freak uh, the other night on Telegram. I can count on one hand how many times I've gone anywhere near substances this year but alcohol but regardless it's just I wasn't really eating or anything I think I was probably the closest you could consider to a mental breakdown as it gets without actually having a diagnosis but yeah 11 stone well just over 11 stone but regardless 13 and a half stone to 11 stone I haven't had a haircut since September. <laughs> That's fuck. I look like, oh, you don't even want to look like. But regardless, I've been doing a lot better. Attended all my appointments. Um, and yeah, I got a sick note from the doctor. I wasn't comfortable with having one. So I decided to just bite the bullet. Start applying for agency work and whatnot. So, I've got a job on Monday. So I'm going back to work. And then I'm up to Christmas as well. Probably the best thing for me. I was offered a job initially, and it was for like uh, skilled laborers. And I was like, I said to the bird on the phone, like, I don't, I don't want to. Um... <laughs> To go on to a site and pretend I'm an air quote unquote skilled labourer, I'm not in the right headspace for that. So I turned that one down. And then I got offered another one. And it's nearby as well, it's where I live. So that'll take my mind off things. But yeah, it's been a rough couple of months. That's for sure. I'm proud of myself, if nothing else, for staying away from the alcohol. It had to be done for more reasons than one. You know, I look back on the last, my last year, this this year even, and like so many of the problems that occurred in my relationship with my ex partner were alcohol related. 
and that includes her too. It did change my personality and it changed hers as well when we were arguing all the fucking time, you know. There's not a day that goes by where I don't think about her. I wish what happened between us didn't. And I'll forever regret that. But I do hope in time maybe we can sort things out. I don't know. But that could never occur if I was in the state that I was in just several weeks ago, you know. But it's difficult not having anybody to speak to anymore. Especially her. Because that was my life. The tail end of 2022 to now, it was my life. Like she was my life. <sighs> but yeah. I'll always love her, I think. I mean, I did propose to the woman. Never done that before in my life. things this year got on top of us but that's why I'm trying to change my life around it's got to be done doesn't mean I'll never have a beer again I'm more than capable of being able to go into a pub and have a couple if need be or whatever but like I don't I don't not want to be in that position again where I was drinking all the time and if you've ever been in that position and you're listening to this you'll know exactly what I'm talking about where you just feel the need to get drunk all the fucking time mask the pain you know or in certain instances you don't even realise you're masking the pain, you're just drinking and you can't even explain why that was my life the latter half of this year that was my life, drinking all the time on the way to work, at work after work in the mornings all through the day So yeah, still as lonely as fucking ever, but made some improvements and I think at the very bare minimum of my life going forward will, well, I'm improving myself, like I said I would, it wasn't just words, I had to, and I am. got two choices for tonight it's a Friday do I either go and get blazing drunk or do I remain sober and I am going to remain sober but it's just it's hard not to just stay off the drink it's just hard to have nobody at all to speak to at all nobody I've attended a few um, meetings at these Mike, at Mikey's line, like face to face appointments. Um, it's a charity in the They're quite good to speak to. But it's not the people that I wish I had to speak to. It was I just my friends, you know. And in time, hopefully, her. But yeah. So I can really say right now. 